a host of people once again outside of the courtroom. We'll start with Speaker Mike Johnson. President Trump is, is a friend, and I wanted to be here to support him. I'm here speaking with you outside because the court won't allow us to speak inside the building. That's just one of the many things that are wrong here. This is the, the, the fifth week that President Trump has been in court for this sham of a trial. They are doing this intentionally to keep him here and keep him off of the campaign trail. And I think everybody in the country can see that for what it is. I'm an attorney. I'm a former litigator myself. I am disgusted by what is happening here. What is being done here to our entire system of justice overall. The people are losing faith right now in this country, in our institutions. They're losing faith in our system of justice. And the reason for that is because they see it being abused as it is being done here in New York. The facts here are very important. Facts are always important in a trial, or at least they're supposed to be. The president's actions in this matter were previously reviewed and no charges were filed. Why is that? Because there's no crime here. Now, eight years later, suddenly they've resurrected this thing. They brought it back. And why is that? Well, just apply common sense. Everyone can see. It's painfully obvious that we're now six months out from an election day. And, and that's the reason. That is the reason why they brought these, these charges here and across the country. That was Speaker Mike Johnson again just outside of the Manhattan courtroom where President Donald Trump will spend day 17 defending himself against these ludicrous charges. Each day there have been various uh, Trump endorsers, Trump supporters, elected officials like the Speaker outside of the courtroom expressing their support of Donald Trump because he can't do it himself. If he does... He'll be slapped with another $1,000 fine. So far, he has paid $11,000 in fine, fines as Judge Merchant has, has issued those because of violations of the gag order. Judge Merchant, a week or so ago, threatened jail time if, in fact, the, the former president continued to, to violate the gag order. Uh, with Speaker Johnson today was uh, Eric Trump and Laura Trump, Corey Mills, Representative Byron Donalds, Doug Burgum, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy. Of course, a couple of those names in there could be potential vice presidential candidates. 800-655-6453, 1-800-655-MIKE. I'm Joey Hudson, in for Mike on this uh, this Tuesday edition of the Mike Gallagher Show. Glad to have you join me. Mike feeling a little under the weather. We hope he'll be back tomorrow. Meanwhile, uh, you and I will hold down the fort. Uh, lots to cover this hour. Uh, in the in the trial yesterday, Michael Cohen, who of course was one of Trump's former uh, personal attorneys, testified that he had paid the one hundred and thirty thousand dollars, which is at the center of this trial, to porn actress Stormy Daniels. Yesterday, Cohen claimed that he paid that out of his own pocket. That. He knew that he needed to keep her quiet. This was just about a month before the election in 2016. He claims that Trump was aware of the situation and that he went to some of the Trump Organization officials who did not have the availability of the money to pay, so he uh, took it upon himself to take out a home equity line of credit on his home because he did not want his wife to know that he was paying this. He, he, he said uh, his quote was something to the effect, my wife is CEO of our home. She would certainly have noticed $130,000 missing from our checking account. So he went behind her back, took out a credit line on the home, got the $130,000 in order to, to pay for this non-disclosure agreement, which didn't work. I, I thought uh, a non-disclosure agreement meant just that. Uh, Jonathan Turley on Fox News made a good point last night saying there's nothing illegal about a non-disclosure agreement. Non-disclosure agreements are made every day. Of course, they're, they're vilifying this because it was Donald Trump. Cohen also admitted that he secretly recorded the president ahead of the 2016 election. Um as he was talking with the president about this and 
a couple of other cases. He claimed that he recorded the president so that he would have something on the record, not only to remind Donald Trump that he had paid this money, but also with some of the other people involved that they would remain loyal to the president. We'll see. Again, day 17 is uh, has, has started in this Manhattan courtroom. 